Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Cutie Queen here, back with another video. I'm about to present to you the best that the top of November has to offer. When y'all see this one, it's a hands down, no debate sort of situation. It has been about 20 years or slightly over 20 years since this shoe has released. It was what was called a hyper limited release. So it means that your, your regular person couldn't just grab this pair. You know, a normal John Doe, Jane Doe couldn't just walk up the street with these. If you had these, you knew somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody that was somebody, okay? All right, you see the box, all black, nothing too special with the box. Nike Dunk High Retro Premium, okay? Are your antennas? Activate it. Let's experience this. I don't know if it'll come off as uh, ASMR or nothing like that, but we don't slide. Okay. Perfect setup for us to just unveil. <laughs> what you have here is the Nike Dunk. Wu-Tang, okay? For the Wu-Tang heads out there, we call them the killer B dunks, man. But again, this is already a classic, so you call it whatever the classic name would be for you as it relates to this shoe, okay? Nike did a good job of keeping this one in the vault. They had plenty of opportunities. We know how they get down. They do not typically hesitate to retro something that would be of this status. Uh, sooner than what they did. So listen, kudos to Nike for this. Kudos to Nike for this. I, there's no question about the excitement around this shoe. So no curiosities as it relates to that. People want this for sure. I find it funny before we get into the details. I find it funny that this drops in the same year when we started the year and it felt like almost every shoe was like yellow ochre. Y'all remember that top of the year? It was yellow ochre this, yellow ochre that. <laughs> and now we have this that has had that sort of yellow ochre colorway um, throughout its entire existence for a couple of decades, right? So I'm just saying, maybe it's just me. Y'all let me know. Pretty much, like, listen, it's that, that mustard sort of yellow ochre, yellow around the entire upper, the medial, the lateral, the heel, the toe, all of that, right? And the black cuts in, of course. So as it relates to the leather, and I'm grouping all that together too, because I will say the leather is consistent across this entire shoe. So the same leather that's on the toe, if y'all can see, it is a little cushy. It has a little bit of give. I know y'all like that, so I like to mention it, okay? It has that same sort of soft give on the upper. So it, it does not change. And that's rare. That's rare um, to have the same texture of leather throughout the entire shoe, especially as it relates to Nike. You got the Wu-Tang logo toward the heel in all black. That's not a print. That's threading right there. That's stuck there. The only way you can destroy that is if you just, I don't know, just scraping across the concrete or something. I don't know. You would, you, would, you would have to try hard to destroy that. And you have that also on the tongue, but with that sort of yellow ochre color blocking, okay? With the sock liner, sock liner is that yellow ochre as well. It is not a cotton. It has more of a mesh feel, so your socks won't necessarily roll up and get stuck in, in balls on these. You know, wear a nice black sock or a white sock and it'd be unscathed. You might you might get a, you might get a couple sock BDBs, but it won't be like if it were cotton, is what I'm saying. Okay. Black foundation and a yellow ochre Nike logo. Also is that yellow ochre as well. With that mustard, that killer bee yellow. We have a white midsole. That sort of breaks all of that up. It breaks up all of that killer bee yellow and black. They did the, the uh, laces as well in that yellow ochre. 
Okay, the tongue is all black. Yeah, so both shoes consistent, nothing different between the two, nothing different on the insoles or anything like that. So yeah, man, Wu-Tang Dunk Highs, classic, classic, classic. Another top of November drop. This is probably one of them ones that you might skip a couple things to save your money so you can get it, okay? And I would not blame you. November 9th, $450, Wu-Tang Dunks, okay? Killer B Dunks, okay? Wu-Tang Forever. Man, listen, I'm a Wu-Tang head. I'm a Wu-Tang fan. That is my favorite hip-hop group from the 90s. So, and that's an easy choice to make. That, that's not even something that would be complex to make a, a choice like that. So that don't make me different because I'm sure a lot of y'all watching this right now feel the same way as it relates to where that group um, ranks for you during the era that they were best, all right? So y'all let me know what y'all gonna do. Y'all let me know what y'all gonna do. I did say, uh, hey, yeah, I understand. It took them forever to retro them, but it's just not a colorway that's for me, right? So who knows, who knows? I might change my mind. I might get excited at the very last minute. I personally, I would like a, I would prefer like a gold plated vinyl copy of 36 Chambers or something like that rather than these. But <laughs> I know that's not what we're here for and that's not what we're talking about. So. Wu-Tang Dunks, man. Y'all let me know what y'all are gonna do. Again, November 9th, 150 bucks. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know your plans, all right? It's been another one from your girl, Q the Queen. And until next time, royalty. <laughs>